That's an interesting smell. Spit. Pardon? The saliva of a predator. And it grows. The saliva will lead us straight to the predator. Another gift for the pond. We're overdue for a visit to the cleansing pool, aren't we, brother? That is where the creature nests. Can't get across here. Let's find a different way around. Look, over there. Now that the water flows freely, new parts of the crater should be open to us. Seems like a good time to get back to that story you asked for, brother. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Ah, women. Drink. Mostly women. You know what? We'll finish this later. Oh! <laughs> 
Back to my story. The enlightenment seeking Laird and his followers swore off women and drink for an instant. Careful, brother. We go down there and we're asking for a fight. That Drecky won't take kindly to us just passing through. Ready. It's me. Fair. Appreciate the concern. There can't be many more dragons left now. Best to make sure. Good find. Might justify a quick visit to the cleansing pool.
Well, in Folkweimer at least. Now I can meet my friend and make amends. You owe us a story first. Yes. I remember now. On the day the valley was destroyed, Thor was swinging his hammer wildly through town. Everyone was terrified. Then, a fair-haired warrior stepped in his path, and a fight began. She was a brave woman. This fair-haired warrior must have been Faye, brother. Faye showed great courage to walk in Thor's path. I'm not sure if Faye had bravery or bravado. Not many live to tell the tale of a fight with Thor. Faye never spoke of fighting him. Everyone has secrets. We do not know for certain this was Faye. Aye, there is only one way to find out, brother. <laughs>